Elliot, love the show, guys watch every day. Honky Tonk Man once memorably explained why he doesn't tip at restaurants. And then he threw that fat so-and-so, King Kong Bundy, that's a quote fat, King Kong <laughs> Bundy under the bus for never tipping either. Do wrestlers often not tip and keep the money for themselves, or is Honky and Bundy just cheap? No, we're not. I don't think I've met wrestlers who were that cheap. Bundy, I've heard that he doesn't tip. Uh, probably Wayne is the greatest tipper in the world. But I've never been around wrestlers who didn't tip something. I mean, even when we were not making much money, we would still tip something just out of courtesy. So, but Wayne didn't tip a lot. And then he threw King Kong Bundy under the bus, but not tipping at all. Mm -hmm. Sounds like him. Yeah. Is Honky, I don't know if he's a legend. I know we've talked about cheap wrestlers before, but well, let's stick with Honky. Is Wayne just a cheap dude all around? Well, he could, he probably, he could, be, he could be because of the way he broke in. He broke in. He was, he's Jerry Lawler's cousin. Hmm. And that's how he broke in. And then, of course, just because he's a cousin, don't mean he's going to get any preferential uh, treatment when it comes to, getting paid and he probably wasn't making any money. And when you're not making any money, you don't have any to spend. I mean, and I, I could see days that guys didn't make, they didn't make enough to cover expenses sometimes, but that was one week. And the other weeks you hope would, would cover up for that. But then the question is, why would you stay into something where you're not making any money? But then again, if you're not, if you're not a, a, a skilled, say, construction worker or an electrician or skilled at this or skilled at that. That brings up another question. If you're skilled in something else, why would you be in wrestling? It's what I'm saying. So, yeah, there were some wrestlers who, who, who didn't tip. Probably Cactus Jack. He's probably not the greatest tipper in the world. But he, he comes along with the territory. And the last one we're going to ask. Is... I left the tip one time. I wrote on the back of the, the bill, mm. don't bet on the matches. That was a good tip. Don't you think? 